So my friends, in this video, we're gonna be looking at the best picture settings for the Samsung S95B OLED. Now, just as a disclaimer, this is my personal preference. I'm not saying that these are the most perfect settings, but I've had this TV now for about six months and I think these work best for me. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Okay, so we'll run through SDR, then HDR, and finally in game mode. Now, there are a couple of settings that I would do right at the very start, but I won't necessarily show you that in this video, and that is basically just to turn the energy saving off. So brightness I have between 34 and 36, contrast I have at 35, and sharpness I have at 1. Now my colour is slightly higher than some others that I've seen, and that's 30, but I think that that works best for me. But again, all panels vary in difference, and so it may be down to the panel that I've got. Tint is at 0, and also picture clarity settings is off, contrast enhancers off, film mode is off, white balance, that's gonna be down to the individual screen, so just go with the flow with whatever you want on yours. Don't take these settings as right because it will be down to your individual screen. The gamma I've got set to BT1886, and I take that down to minus one. Shadow detail is set to zero, now with color space settings, this again could be different for different panels, but for me, I have changed mine and I've not got it set to auto, which most people would do. So the reds, I've got red at 53, green at 62, and blue at 54. With the greens, I've got that set at red 63, green 65, and blue 69. Blues, I've got red at 60, green at 58, and blue at 53. Now yellows, I've got set at 48 red, 58 green, and 60 blue. And then cyan, I've got 65 red, 62 green, and 60 blue. And finally, we'll go up to magenta. And with magenta, I've got it set at 56 red, 58 green, and 53 blue. But again, I recommend you just keep yours at auto, but change the rest of the settings and see whether that works best for you. I have got my peak brightness set to high because I prefer it, but I think that that works best. I've got quite a bright room, but you may want to set your peak brightness to medium, but I've got it set to high and I think it looks great. Okay, let's go on now to HDR settings. So with HDR, I've got brightness set to 50, contrast set to 50, sharpness I've pushed up to six, and color I've taken down to 22, and I've got a tint of G1. Picture clarity settings is turned off, contrast enhancer is turned off, and then we'll go down to color tone. I've got it set to warm one. Some people prefer warm two, but I think warm one works best for me. White balance, again, that's gonna be down to your individual set, but I've just taken the R gain down and the uh, B gain down. The gamma is set to ST2084. Now, some people have this set at minus one, but I kept mine at zero, and shadow detail I've got kept at zero. Again, I've gone in and changed the color space settings, but most people will probably stick to auto, and you can have a play with it. You can always reset it to auto, but I've got the reds at 37, the greens at 75, the blues at 30. And then for the greens, I've got them set at 83 red, 20 green, and 30 blue. Now the blues I've got at 65 red, 65 green, and 75 blue. This will vary on different panels as well, guys. And with yellows, I've got 17 red, 16 green, and 82 blue. Now with cyan, I've got that set to 50 red, 76 green, and eight blue. And finally, back up to magenta. We've got magenta set to reds eight, greens 50, and blues 90. But again, have a play with it if you want to, or just set it to auto. You probably won't see too much difference, but I've just fiddled mine a little bit more. Peak brightness, again, I've got set to high because it's normally in a bright room, and you might want to set that to medium if it just appears too bright. And obviously, because of the brightness and the contrast settings, then you may find that it is too bright if you're in a dark room. Okay, with some of these other settings now, game settings, I've got brightness at 50, contrast at 50, and sharpness at 7. Color is down to 18, and the tint is 0. Contrast enhancer is turned off. 
Color tone, I've got it set to warm one, but again, some people prefer warm two. The white point balance, the white two point balance, I've got, I've again, I'd slightly change those, minus two and minus six on the R gain and the B gain, but again, that's gonna be down to the individual panel and your individual setup, the room that you're in, so you can have a play with that. I've got it set to ST2084, and I've got that then down to minus two. Shadow detail, we've got that set to two. Color space settings, I've got this custom, and again, I've had a little play in there, and I've got it to the BT2020 color gamut. Now, the, I'll go back to the reds just so it's in the right order. The reds I've set to 17 red, 76 green, and 33 blue. Now the greens, I've got those at 70 red, 15 green, and 33 blue. Now the blues, I've got that set to 76, 79, and 78. And now we're going to yellows. Yellow is set to 45 red, 53 green, and 50 blue. Last but one is cyan. Now that's set to 55 red, 55 green, and 90 blue. And finally, we'll go into magenta. And that is 50 red, 10 green, and 85 blue. So this, again, is all my personal preference. I've taken a lot of information from the original calibration, but also I've reset this and then set it to as close as I can get it to how it was previously in my setup. And also I've taken some advice from various different channels. Uh, Slash did a great video, and mine are actually very similar to Slash's, um, slightly different on my panel, but I think that this, for instance, in HDR mode, the gaming looks absolutely fantastic. So guys, have a little play with your set and see what you come up with. If you come up with something which looks absolutely amazing, then do drop a comment and let me know what your settings are, and that will also help other people. But you saw the game mode, this is the HDR mode, and finally this is SDR. So I think they're all looking pretty good. I do like a little bit extra saturation, that's, that's one thing that I would say. So you may find that there's a little bit too much color in the screen for some of you, but you can always just dial that back to your own preference. But that's what this is about about putting it to the TV to exactly how you like it. I hope this video has been helpful. Drop it a thumbs up if it has, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.